Hi guys, welcome to the channel. The bench seats have arrived for the 110. Okay, so the next job is something I've been waiting to do for a long time, and that is to fit our two-man bench seats into the back here. Now, we've had them trimmed to match the rest of the seats. It should really finish off the interior beautifully, and I'm hoping it's going to be quite a simple install. So the seats come pre-assembled from Exmoor Trim. Um, you just have to mount the brackets and locate them into these slots in here, and I'll show you how that's done. Pretty simple. And then we're probably going to have to drill some holes in this... Uh, box here the uh, wheel box but apart from that should be pretty simple they should look amazing right so this is the Exmoor trim back cushion and uh, just to give you a little bit more info you've got the uh, steel backing plate here which has been painted it's just an eco it's not powder coat but it will protect it so it's more durable and you've got these fixing points the first thing you've got to do which I didn't do on the first one because I obviously didn't read the instructions you've got to mount this onto your frame so use the smaller bolts for attaching the seat back okay and there we are right the important thing here is to do what I say not do what I do so don't put that backing plate on first put your brackets on first because it's easier to get to the mounting points here you want to mount them with the tab on the inside like that but actually pointing upwards as they sit how I've got them there right so this is what I mean about these so if I offered that up against there they wouldn't tuck in so what you need to do is get some of the pliers or some grips like this and all we're going to do is just bend the top there like that that's it all you need to do and don't worry because they'll be just as solid. And the reason we've done it, they'll be just as solid because they actually mount right at the bottom. What we're gonna be doing now is offering the bench seat up, getting it pulled back into place, and that will allow us then to drill holes and mount it into the base. So we are aiming, I believe, for this hole and one of these. So you just lean it into the holes. Try, I'd, normally, ow, I'd normally do it from over there, but I'm trying to keep it on, on the camera. Right, so you can see there, look, I'm in those holes. You have to push it in and it's going to take the paint off. There we go. You've got two mounting holes here. We're just going to drill through with an 8mm drill bit. Right, Reese is going to give me a hand because, um, well, I did say I could do it on my own, but it's easier with someone else. This one's easy, the back one's not quite so much, especially with the fuel pipe in the way. Right, so. Go on. Yeah, go, 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 go. Whoa. Perfect. Now, there's a few key differences between these seat benches and the ones from Britpart. Now, the Britpart ones are brilliant, they're really inexpensive, and they're a great addition to your vehicle. They really do, you know, transform the interior, and they're just very practical, but you do get what you pay for. So, I've got both the seat bases here from the Britpart unit and the Exmoor trim unit. Now, you can see, firstly, the Exmoor trim unit, look, uh, you've got this multiple cell foam inside there and you've got a nice zip so I don't know why you'd need that but it's quite nice that you can get it repaired or fill it with a different foam should this one deteriorate on the Brit part one it's all stitched there's no you know there's no entry into that um, and it's just it's just standard foam in there there's no um, it's not upholstery foam like that one it's just a regular piece of foam but the key really which I want to demonstrate with the weight is look scales are on here so that weighs 90.95 kgs, that's nearly a kilo. This one I reckon is going to be about three, two and a half, look, 2.45. So this is twice the mass, twice the density, so obviously you've got a much more substantial cushion. So the other element I wanted to uh, reinforce was, obviously I'm not dissing these Britpark benches, I'm just showing you the difference you get when you pay you know, for an upgraded model, because obviously the Exmoor trim ones are gonna be nearly twice the price. And so it's important to know what you're getting. Now, if you look here, these are the brackets. 
and you're probably looking at least 25% thicker steel, which does give you a sturdier frame and it's probably more durable because they do let moisture in if you've got them in a canvas back um, in, in the back of the truck. So this metal plate that goes at the back is actually MDF on the Brit part ones. Now those do serve a purpose, don't get me wrong, and they're a great bit of kit as I said before, but these are just a bit more durable, they're nicely finished and they're black. Now I always spray the back of my Brit part bench seats. Um, I always spray the MDF because they just don't look very nice when you've got the canvas off because it's just MDF. So I like to blacken them off and also it helps keep the water out a little bit because you know you, again you get moisture around this area and so the less water you get less moisture on that MDF the better. Saying that, in principle, they're the same thing. There's a couple of things I've done to this one to actually get it to sit in nicely. Um, you do get this strap, which is great. You get this on both of them. And they're not supposed to be pinched super tight, okay? Because otherwise you deform the cushion and everything. All you're trying to do is just get them out of the low space area there and just stop them moving about. And these are nice and quiet, but what I have done is I've added a foam strip to the bottom here. Now you don't get that in the kit, but Honestly, fitting that makes a big difference because when these are dropped down, if you haven't got a carpet in the back and you've just got metal box um, wheel arches, you know, they don't, they, they can, if you go hard, they're gonna knock because it's this middle piece, but you know, just on the road, they're not gonna rattle about. So that's a nice little tip. And the foam I've used, again, is the stuff from YRM. So you can get this stuff direct from LR Parts, as you can with all this stuff. And don't forget, you will get 5% off all of these items that we're featuring today's episode. So if you're investing in some rear seat benches, now's a good time to put your order in. You get 5% off, whether you go for the XML trim ones or the Brit part ones. So one little shot from the top here, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it'll look better from the front, but really, really pleased with those seats. Okay guys, that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm loving the seats. Um, if you want to get a set of seats yourself, bench seats, whether they be the Brit part or the XM trim, don't forget it's 5% off uh, for the next 10 days. If you just literally click the link below, you go straight to lrparts.net and you can buy yourself a nice bench seat set like that. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.